You sit there staring at the screen, but you are thinking about the exam. What if you draw the subject that you hate? What do you want for dinner? Oh, oh geez, I have to, I have re to return to the flashcards. Five flashcards later, and you start to drift again. I don't know if this sounds familiar, but this was certainly my reality. I might have some HDRD tendencies, so I need something to keep my attention focused. And the tricks I now show you definitely helped my performance. So if you're having trouble keeping your head clear, I might have something to help you. So my help package consists of three parts. Get ready to be a mean flashcard machine. The pen and paper method, Pomodori and an idea paper. So to combat a racing brain, I had to find a way to keep myself focused, enough to sit there and having to recall stuff in your brain without verbalizing it. Because when you're in a library and as soon as you crunch up a piece of paper, everyone in the room is on your tail. Silence! I kill you! So if you can't verbalize your flashcards and can't speak out loud, you instead have a piece of paper and you scribble down your answers. Sometimes a flashcard is easy and you can just write a single word. Other times you have to describe the brachial plexus. Complicated. Some Einsteins can probably do it inside their head. We mortals can't. Having a piece of paper makes you more focused. It's a place to actualize your thoughts and to keep them in order. It's also a place to help you progress so you're not repeating the same answer in your head over and over. And I even had the experience of making a pen run dry. Most time I would just find a new pen before the old one ran out. But to fight rainforest deforestation, I bought a rugged book, which is like a combination of a whiteboard and a notebook. Scribbling down would actually hold my attention during the month of exam preparation. It's not perfect writing that is needed. You don't need to have perfect writing. Sometimes you just need to remember three items. So if the question was that I have to remember the top three common medications that is associated with lung fibrosis, which is nitrofurin, amiterone, and mexotrexate. So just writing the first letter would be enough. And at other times you need to write out everything. It depends on how well you know the answer and your level of focus at the given time. Next up is Pomodoro. Most of you know about this already, so I'm making it brief. I sometimes use the forest app, but what worked out the best was to make a deal with a friend I was studying with. We made a deal that we were studying for 40 minutes, and then after the 40 minutes we would go outside, do some pull-ups or push-ups, or just walk and talk for 5 to 10 minutes before taking another session. And after a couple of sessions we would take a bigger break, like lunch or dinner. But if you have HDHD tendencies, it's important that you use the brakes to get some physical activity. You can do push-ups, you can do pull-ups, you can go running for five minutes. There's a lot of things you can do, but you need to do some physical activity. The last piece to the puzzle to make you a lean, mean, anki or quizlet machine is having a place to put your, all your thoughts. I constantly think of other things I want to do, and so do you. So have a piece of paper to capture all the thoughts so you can return to them later when your Pomodoro's timer is up. You might already be thinking of the perfect place to put these thoughts. What notebook do I need? Should I do it digitally? Don't overthink it. But make sure your system is quick. It's designed to keep you focused on the flashcards. I just used a piece of paper, so whenever I got a new thought I had to remember for later, I would just scribble it down on the piece of paper and check back in later. That is it for my tips, remember to subscribe to be healthy and if you want to you can check out this video about how healthy sauna use is or what you can do instead if you don't have a sauna or see my tips about a good night shift.